Justin Bieber is dating someone and it isn't Selena Gomez. Hey guys, welcome to IO Trends where we talk about everything trending. I'm your host for this segment, Charlotte Dobre. Let's get to it, shall we? So new rumors have surfaced that the Biebs is tired of breaking hearts and is looking to settle down. This news comes right after he went on a date with Nicola Peltz from Bates Motel on May 26. A source told E! News that he thinks a relationship would be a good move for him. He and Selena have been on and off for what seems like forever now, and he constantly chose not to commit to her. Why he chose to commit to someone new rather than Selena is unclear. He has asked Nicola out on a second date and the two are planning on seeing each other very soon. Well guys, I know some of you are not going to be stoked to hear that news, but hey, I can understand why he wants to stay away from the drama and start something with someone new. Okay, moving along now. A ghost hunter group was examining gravestones at a cemetery in the UK when they began to hear groans. They were examining the graveyard because it was believed to be extremely haunted. Intrigued, they decided to follow the noises. What they found was not a ghost, but a couple having sex and being filmed by two men. The group was on a tour of the cemetery and were very excited by the noises, only to be let down by an apparent graveyard porno. What I want to know is, since when is there a market for graveyard porn? I mean, I have heard of people having sex in graveyards, but I haven't heard of graveyard porn before. I'm not really sure how I feel about watching scary porn. Maybe I like it? I actually don't know. Would you guys watch scary porn? All right, now I'm going to wrap things up with some good news for all you late sleepers. Apparently, it's not your fault. No, really, that's not an excuse. It's actually not your fault. Sleeping late is actually coded into people's DNA. Every person has their own sleeping pattern called a chronotype, which is a fancy name for a preferred sleeping pattern. There is a large chunk of society that stays up extremely late, people in the bar industry for example. They run on a different internal clock than the people who work a regular 9 to 5 job. An average chronotype involves someone going to bed at around 11 and waking up at 7. Your brain will start producing melatonin at around 9 pm, which puts you to sleep at 11. But if you have a late chronotype, this all happens a lot later in the day. Honestly, that does make a lot of sense, but then I used to be a really late sleeper and now I can't help but wake up at 7 am every morning for no reason. How do you explain that? Anyways, I guess I'm just gonna have to do more research. That's all for now, guys. Thank you for tuning into IO Trends. If you guys wanna keep watching, you should click this video right over here.